Hey guys, a few weeks ago, I released a bunch of tutorials on the Final Cut Pro 10.4.4.4.4 update. But there was one feature I didn't get to, mainly because I didn't have a good example of how you might use it. But today I do, and I'm calling it Comic Look Freezes. In the effects browser, there's a new category of effects labeled Comic Looks. With the playhead parked over a clip in the timeline, I'll skim over the thumbnails to give you a quick preview. Out of the box, they give your footage a graphic novel vibe. I particularly like this one labeled Comic Vintage. There are six versions of this comic look effect, but they're basically just variations of the one effect that have been provided as look presets. Now while this effect is certainly cool when applied to a single clip, it gets even better when you apply it to multiple clips that have been composited. Here's a timeline with a sultry redhead that's been keyed against a still image of a 40s looking detective office. The office image was downloaded directly into Final Cut Pro 10 using Shutterstock's extension app. I applied a black and white effect to give the photo a film noir look. Because I have the background and foreground images as separate elements, I can apply different comic looks to each image. But before I do that, I need to create a compound clip, then freeze the girl so I can transition from the motion footage of the scene to a still image of the scene with the comic looks applied. I'll start by selecting both layers and press Option G to create a compound clip. Then name the clip Noir Girl CC for compound clip. Next, I'll scrub over the clip looking for a good place to pull a freeze frame. I like this frame where she settles back on her hip at about 3 seconds. I'll split the clip here by pressing Command B. Notice the dotted line indicating a through edit. I'll step inside the compound clip after the cut by double clicking on it. In the ruler area of the timeline, there are in and out markers. These indicate the portion of the clips that are currently visible within the compound clip in the parent timeline. I want to freeze the clip of the girl right at the marker endpoint, so I'll move the playhead there, then press Option F to create the freeze. Notice that a freeze frame now replaces the content between the in and out markers. What's also cool is that the freeze includes the alpha channel that was created by the keyer. Now it's time to apply the comic look effects. I'll drag the comic basic effect onto the freeze frame of the girl, and also onto the office background. With the girl clip selected, I'll open the inspector and make some changes to the look. At the top of the effect, you can choose one of three styles. Out of the box, a color style is applied, but you can choose a gray look or a black and white look. I'll start with gray, then use the mix slider to add in some of the clip's original color. I'll set this to around 80% so there's just a hint of red in her dress. Most of these other controls are fairly self-explanatory. For example, if you want more or less posterization effect, drag on this slider. Or if you want thicker ink strokes, crank up the ink fill. Just play with these until you achieve the look you're after. What's really great is that if I choose another style option, like black and white, any of the changes I make to the look while working in the gray style are retained. Notice the mix setting for black and white is still set at 80%, and we still see some of the red peeking through the floral pattern of her dress. With the black and white style, you're given additional options for changing the ink color and the fill color. I'll reset these, then come back once I've chosen the look and color of the background. I'll select the background, then set the style to black and white. Then choose a vibrant red for the fill color. I'll then select the girl layer and set the fill to a minty green to create a sharp color contrast between the girl and her environment. Next, I'll jump back to the parent timeline by clicking the Back History button. Now, if I scrub over the edit or play back, the image freezes with my comic effects applied. Very cool. There's one problem. I don't want to see the red background before the cut. The reason the background remains red across the cut has to do with the nature of compound clips. What you do inside one compound clip affects all instances of that compound clip. So for example, if you split a compound clip into six separate clips and make changes inside one of them, the other five will receive those changes. In order to address this, I'll select the first instance of the compound clip before the cut, then from the clip menu choose 
Reference New Parent Clip. What this command does is create an entirely new instance of the compound clip that will not be affected by any of the changes I make to the other compound clip, or vice versa. Notice that an entirely new compound clip instance has been created in the browser. So now I'll step into the first compound clip by double clicking, select the background, then disable the comic effect for that clip, then return to the parent timeline. The compound clip before the cut is now clean and unaffected before cutting to the entirely separate compound clip containing the freeze and comic look effects. The last step is to apply transitions at the cut points so the change to the comic look is subtle. Yes, I did say transitions. I'll need to use three to pull this off. I'll double click the first instance of the compound clip, then add a cross dissolve at the cut point between the live action green screen clip and the freeze frame. I'll also change the duration to 12 frames and set the cross dissolve blending mode to shadows. I like the shadows blend option because the darker ink lines will be blended first, creating a nice organic look to the dissolve. Next, I'll copy the dissolve by pressing Command C, step back to the parent timeline, then double click the second instance of the compound clip and paste the cross dissolve at the same cut point. I'll go back to the parent timeline again and paste the cross dissolve at the cut point between the two compound clips. Skimming over the clip now reveals a nice transition to the comic freeze effect. I'll play this back in real time, which is what we've all been waiting for.